y'all. Welcome back to the DIY Entrepreneur's Reaction Show. I'm so glad you decided to tune in with me today. Go ahead and hit that like button and become a subscriber to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. I would really appreciate that. Today we're going to be reacting to another Shark Tank pitch, so let's check it out. Next into the tank are two moms with a must-have accessory for parents on the go. Hi Sharks, I'm Christy Barony. I'm Courtney Turek. And we're the Monkey Mat Mamas. We're seeking $100,000 in exchange for 30% of our company. Our product is the award-winning Monkey Mat. The Monkey Mat is the Monkey only mat. clean portable surface you can have anywhere you go. It's an innovative new essential for life on the go. No bulky blankets required. So the original inspiration for the Monkey Mat came during an unexpected six-hour layover at the airport, where I watched my two beautiful girls crawl and eat and play all over those dirty, disgusting floors. Ew. Total crap. There has to be a better way. <laughs> we searched for a solution to meet our needs, and when nothing existed, we decided to create it. There is nothing that provides the portability, versatility, and functionality with style like the monkey mat. The attached pouch with easy buckle strap secures onto anything. Cooler, stroller, bike handle, purse, or diaper bag. The custom fabric is soft, durable, and water repellent. And grass, dirt, sand, and messes shake right off. The corners have weights, as well as loops for additional grounding. And in the center of the mat, there are loops for key or toy attachments. And of course, it's all machine washable, comes in four vibrant colors, is perfect for outdoor concerts, sporting events, picnic, at the beach. The response has been fantastic, but we need your help elevating our business to the next level. Can we see them? Absolutely. Absolutely. Courtney, I love the way it folds back up. Absolutely. People are very amazed when they see how quick and easy it goes back into the pouch. I like the way that she was talking, um, still demonstrating how she how easy it is to pack it back up. So I do like the, that touch that she uh, decided to do during her pitch. But now here's a monkey mat. They're coming in the tank asking for a hundred k for thirty percent equity. Um, it's a portable mat. I guess they children play on. It's custom fabric, and so I want to know what material or what's so custom about it. It has loops, it has weights in it, and then it has pockets. And so it's a piece of fabric with some weights, some pockets, and you can lay it on the grass. So let's see what's so innovative about this monkey mat that they're asking for 100K for. So let's see. So I have to ask, are you related? Or I we mean, get asked that a lot, and we are not related. However, um, we're dear friends. We've known each other for 11 years. Christy, would you have sales be related? We do. We have $60,000 of sales in our first year of business. And One how are you year? getting those sales? We are available on our own website. We have 51 BTC. retailers, storefront Wholesale. retailers, and online okay. businesses. And we're also available in three countries outside the U.S. And what does it cost? International. Thirty-nine ninety-nine. Oh. Forty. Retail. Wow. Retail. What, what wow. is it? What cost? Forty dollars for a blanket with pockets, loops, and a weight. Forty dollars. She said thirty-nine ninety-nine is retail price. But they have. They seem like they have enough channels for this monkey mat in this first year of business. So they have a website doing direct to customer. They also, she said, 51 retailers. So they're in the store. So they have some type of wholesale purchasing going on. And then she said they're in three countries. So they have an international monkey mat that calls 39.99 monkey mat. Lord have mercy. To you, what does it cost you to make it? And where do you make it? Uh, we actually make it in China. So with shipping and customs, we're at thirteen fourteen. Wow, that sounds hot. But yeah, that sounds, that sounds really very high. high. What's oh, in the material that makes it cost so much? It's a ripstop nylon, but it's treated specially to be both water repellent and also soft. There's another material that's embedded. The weights are stainless steel discs. The stainless steel discs are about 
50 cents a piece. Oh, so oh, wow. and, uh, and how many discs are there? High, four. So there's Eight. one in each. I want you to help me with something because I'm just struggling a little bit, okay? Mm -hmm. It's a piece of nylon on the floor. <laughs> That's what I see. <laughs> Why is anybody going to pay 20, 30 bucks for this when it's two bucks off a roll in any clothing store. You know what, at the end of the day, Mr. Wonderful? Yeah. If you can carry a yoga mat, which people use it as, a uh, a beach blanket, a picnic blanket, a baby blanket onto, you can't stuff those in your glove compartment, you can't throw them in the trunk of your car all together, you can't... It's a convenience item convenience. more than a... If you're going to plan, yeah, if you're going to pay 30 bucks for it, convenience. I'm telling you, my wife, in a heartbeat, would do it because it's for those times you don't expect something to happen. Exactly. Whether it's Mine's the airport right. or whether you're around. Guys, I love the product. I though? hate the price. I think the price has to be $9.99. Well, and, and he's right. The higher end mom environment are going to buy it, right? But that doesn't make it a mass product. Mm. Can you make it a mass product with a $9.95 retail that resembles anything that has any of the quality at all? I don't believe for that cost. Because of the be magnets, the weight. The quality of product that we're looking to provide with the versatility with the functionality quality it's a piece of cloth on the floor in the Kirstie, airport I think, it's a, I think it's a very clever product but what i heard you say today is from what you know today you can't get the price point mm -hmm. to have it become a mass market product i'm out thank you very much you guys with the right strategic partner you could Right. right. I mean, yes. I know because I manufacture right. things made out of fabric. You think I have you can for bring this down? Years. Yes, I do. I don't okay. get it. Okay, Lori. I just don't get it. You know what, Mr. Wonderful? We have parents who use this as a timeout, Matt. We might have to put you over in the corner on one. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'd rather put it over it top of them, not underneath them. There we go. That's That's a good idea too. Covers, Listen, yeah. too. Somebody figured out how to make an umbrella <laughs> so inexpensive when it rains, I buy one and I throw it out mm. afterwards. That's where you need to go. And. Maybe you'll get there, but it won't be with me. I'm out. All right. Thank you. Thank you. It's too small. It should be larger. The colors are off. They're not hip. And last, which you've heard again and again, it's way too expensive. I think it's a $10 product. I love when Barbara be coming in. She be having her points. She's already validated through her mind and her experience what's going to work. Uh, I love when she come in and just start going like, look. This is where we're at. I love that. <laughs> Let's she see if she got it. Exactly an like offer. those cheap portable umbrellas that come in the little kit. That's it. Mm. It's not for me. I'm out. That ain't good enough. Thanks for your feedback. I want you to do one thing right now. Sure. Take it and fold it up and put it back into the zippered pouch for me. Fold it or stuff it. Well, well I want to see how hard it is. I want to see well, how you should do it. They've been doing it the do whole it. time. Look. Here's the, here's the real yeah, test. Yeah, Mark, you do it. <laughs> it's a contest. Who's faster? I can. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Christy has a hard time doing it the bad way. Just shove it in. <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, I feel like insane. a magician, right? Oh, here yeah. I go. I'm going to kick. Wow. He wow. wins. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you beat me. Hey, okay, now. See? Awesome. See how easy it is? Yeah, that's actually well, Mark can do it. You know, point. I want to see if Mark, Mark, you'll go in with me. Okay. We'll give you an offer for... The hundred thousand dollars, thirty-five percent. I think between Mark yeah. and I and our connections, we can get this in. I can help you with the manufacturing to get and this way down. And I can help you with the down. online. And he'll help you with the online, and I'll help you with all the different retailers. What do you guys think? Hundred K for thirty-five percent? Got to tell us right now. Yep, you're one handshake away. For two. Let's, Let's do, do this. The they didn't even count her. <laughs> Thank Good you job. so much. We're so excited. Oh, well, you're oh, great. great. You I think just one thing all entrepreneurs should do is at least counter. I mean, how many people, how many sharks have went out of a deal just because an entrepreneur countered on their um, on their ask? And so it never hurts. So Lori and Mark decided to do a deal with Monkey Mat, the Monkey Mat ladies, uh, for 100K, giving them 100K for 35%. They came in only willing to give up 30% uh, for the 100K. So Lori and Mark didn't really ask for too much more, but I think in every offer, you should counter. So they could have said something like 33 
I don't know, 33 and a half or something like that, 33 and a third, something to kind of come back with the negotiation. I just think that's the way that it should be doing, done. However, there have been pitches where the offer was great, the need was there, they got exactly what they needed as far as the entrepreneur, and they just went in and said, I agree without countering. So I understand situations could be different. However, in this deal, they were able to get a um, partnership with Mark and Lori, which is going to be good. You know, I really hope the best for them in their partnership. Now, for the actual product, I don't know what people are paying $39.99 for a slip of nylon or treated nylon because they said it's water resistant and things like that. So customize fabric with weights in it, which is ramp ramping up their cost. They said though each of those magnets cost 50 cents each and they have four of them in each mat. And so that's $2 on top of whatever it is that they're paying for just the mat alone. And they said it cost them $13.14 to make it. And then they're selling it for $40. And so in the, in the part of the offer, Lori just kind of shared that she could help them get their prices down with manufacturing. And then Mark said that he would help them with the online, of course, with the marketing and things like that. I'm sure he has a team that can really just ramp that up. And so I'm hoping that whatever Lori and Mark is able to come in and do, I hope that price point, of course, will be one of the first things that they attack. Uh, but then they seem to be kind of healthy. They are international, so they're already in three countries. They have, a, it seems like, a healthy wholesale type of channel where they have 51 retailers. And so the business seems to be done very well. This was their first year of business. They've only made 60K, but they have all those different channels. They got the direct to consumer, the wholesaling, um, they have international. And so I'm really looking to see how they can ramp up their sales and their profit once they get their price point down just a little bit. I'm sure that will definitely help. So. I just wish the best for their um, business, and I hope that this partnership proves to be very profitable for both Lori, Mark, and the ladies of the Monkey Mat. And so, um, the best to them. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and staying until the end. I really do appreciate that. Make sure you hit that like button and become a subscriber if you like this content. And make sure you check us out for the next ones. Everything. I love that. It's clever. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. If you make your money back on this within even five years, Six I will months. eat one of those Six months. Six months, bro. Yes, my. Six months. That is not a magic carpet. That is a ride to hell. <laughs>